I'm back behind you. What's up, everybody? It is a blue break, and today I wanted to play a game that I haven't played in a while. My God, this is amazing. Um, I wanted to play some Rising Storm 2 because this is actually the last game that was created by Anti-Matter Games in partnership with uh, Tripwire. Now, I'm not sure how many of you all know this, but Anti-Matter Games is actually the studio... I'm not to get myself killed here. Uh, Anti-Matter Games is actually the studio behind the upcoming game, 83, uh, which is similar to the Rising Storm series, but in... Uh, the Cold War, set in the Cold War. And a lot of people seem to forget this, actually. A lot of people seem to forget that Antimatter Games is the people who are behind Rising Storm. And Rising Storm, man, I gotta say, it's it's pretty beautiful. Um, and while I'm not always 100% on board with the kind of gameplay that comes from the Red Orchestra Rising Storm series, it's very meat grindy, very rushy. Um, obviously, I'm much more into strategic, more, more open-styled gameplay. Um, but I do have to say, I really do enjoy myself in RS2, uh, from time to time. I don't know why that guy found me so interesting. Um, and I wanted to kind of revisit it just to kind of show off how awesome it looks sometimes. And hopefully this will be the kind of style of gameplay and visuals that we're going to see from the upcoming game, 83. Let's try not to get ourselves killed here. up to the villa and we're actually playing on a uh, beta map here this is actually a pretty cool map but it's a very open beachhead assault style map which I think is pretty cool oh yeah we're gonna wait here for reinforcements because I am not equipped to head up any further See some people up on top. Oh. Alright, we're assaulting that house next. Not in a good position here, though. Kind of exposed. Crap, 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 crap. Bad cover. Bad cover. Machine gun, though. No. Light up that second floor. Second floor. Where's that napalm support? Okay, good. Not gonna hit me. We're in for some fireworks here in a second. I also think this is the only Unreal Engine game I've seen that has really gotten helicopters right. I could be wrong about that. I don't know if there's any others. Oh, dude. But this is probably the best implementation of helicopters I've ever seen in a UE shooter. Oh, dang. Here we go.
Dan. Dan. Oh shit. Get him. Wait. Got him. Watch it. Watch it. Taking it though, we're getting this villa. There it is, there it is. Got the villa. There's gonna be people retreating, wait for him. Nice! That was incredible. That was epic. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I just wanted to show this off. It's a really cool uh, game that I haven't played in a while. It looks really pretty and just kind of gets me excited about the future of Unreal Engine 4 games. Um, hopefully you guys still play this as well and you think it's as cool as I do. And hopefully Anime Matters next game is going to be just as awesome as this one is. Although, I'm interested, now that Antimatter is its own studio um, and has its own game that's not connected with Tripwire, I'm interested to see if 83 is actually going to take the gameplay in a slightly different direction. If it does, obviously more open maps and squad-oriented gameplay 
is something that I always love, but we'll just have to see. But yeah. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you thought this was cool, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.